a liter of dry air at stp expands adiabatically to volume of 3 liter so we have volume is equal to 1 liter and final volume is equal to 3 liter La, to 1 liter can be written as 1 uh, this is 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube and this is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube right now adiabatic if gamma h h at we are discussing at stp means initial pressure is equal to 1 atm that is 10 to the power 5 pascal approximately we don't know the final pressure here if gamma is equal to 1.4 the work done by air is if 3 raised to now this is typing mistake here 3 raised to 1.4 is equal to 4.6555 right now for adiabatic process what is the formula of work work can be written as p1 v1 minus p2 v2 divided by gamma minus 1 right okay let's solve for this then now uh, see for adiabatic process process equation is pressure into volume to the power gamma is equal to constant so p1 v1 to the power gamma is equal to p2 v2 to the power gamma so p2 can be written as p1 into v1 by v2 to the power gamma what is p1 p1 is 10 to the power 5 v1 is 10 to the power minus 3 v2 is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 to the power 1.4 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 cancel out 10 to the power 5 divided by 3 to the power 1.4 now 3 to the power 1.4 is given as 4.655 so this is 10 to the power 5 divided by 4.655 right this is the final pressure now from the formula of work what is the formula for adiabatic process p1 v1 minus p2 v2 divided by gamma minus 1 you we can use this formula put all the data here initial pressure is 10 to the power 5 initial volume is how much 10 to the power minus 3 final pressure is 10 to the power 5 divided by 4.65 and final volume is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by gamma minus 1 gamma is 4.6 gamma is wait 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 gamma is 1.4 now so this is 1.4 minus 1 so work can be written as this is 10 to the power 2 minus c this is 10 to the power 5 minus 3 will be 10 to the power 2 and 3 divided by 4.65 if you solve for this then you will get 64 approximately divided by 0.4 to 100 minus 64 divided by 0 0.4 is equal to how much this is 36 divided by 0 0.4 this is equal to 360 divided by 4 this is equal to approximately 90 joule so approximately 90 joule is the answer option c is a correct one right